Here lately, I've been in the mood to rice my desktop. For those of you that are not familiar with that term, ricing is basically just making your desktop look good, adding some bling to your desktop, you know, putting a fancy wallpaper on it, playing with your color schemes, your terminal color schemes. I'm sure you guys have seen those really cool screenshots over at the Unix porn subreddit. Those are examples of, quote, ricing. Now, one of the things I wanted to do with my desktop is I wanted to add a little bling to dmenu. I've been using dmenu for a while now. It is my command launcher, my run launcher. If I switch back to the desktop, here is dmenu in action. And I could run a command such as alacrity and it will launch that. But my dmenu, I haven't really patched it in any way. That is a very plain vanilla dmenu. And what I wanted to do was add a little color to it. Maybe add a little more functionality to it. I don't know. So I was going to go to the suckless.org website and grab about half a dozen patches and really patch the hell out of dmenu and make it look a little more fancy. So the first thing you want to do here, and you guys can follow along with me. There's no harm in you building your own fancy dmenu along with me. It won't hurt your system in any way. If you already have dmenu installed and you've already built it with your own patches, just copy the source folder over somewhere else so you have a backup. But again, there's no harm in you following along with me. First thing we need to do is open up a web browser and go to suckless.org. Uh, I figure for this video, it would be appropriate for me to use the surf browser, which is Suckless's web browser. So I'm going to type surf space suckless dot org. And this is the surf web browser. Let me let me zoom in a little bit on mine. I have a control shift K to zoom in control shift J to zoom out, you know, J and K, the Vim keys. But the first thing we need to do is go grab the source code for dmenu. So at the top, you have tabs and you have various suckless programs. You have DWM, which is their tiling window manager, ST, which is their terminal core, surf, which is their web browser tools and tools is actually a variety of things. If you click on tools, you will find dmenu in here and then click on source and download the source for dmenu 4.9. And once you have the source downloaded, let me open up a terminal here. Let me zoom in a little bit on the terminal as well. Now we need to CD into the dmenu directory wherever we downloaded that source code. CD into that directory. So I put this in my home directory. I put a, a directory called dmenu in my home directory, and that's where I put the source code. If I do an ls. This is the source files here. And the first thing we need to do to be able to use dmenu is to run sudo make install to actually compile this. Now that it's compiled, you should be able to run it. You may or may not have a key binding already set to run dmenu, depending on what window manager you're using. I actually have one set, but for those of you that don't have one set, you can just run it from the command line with dmenu underscore run. And this is dmenu here at the top. And the arrow keys, or if you wanted to type something, you can type term or whatever it is I'm looking for. Maybe I was looking for the termite terminal. And once it gets to the point where it can't find anything else, you get to the last item. You know, you just, just hit enter and you will launch that program escape to get out of dmenu. So let's figure out what patches we want to add to dmenu. So if I go to dmenu and patches here. I can tell you in my previous builds of dmenu, I really only added one patch and it's kind of a necessary patch. There's one called line height. And what this does, it allows you to change the height of the dmenu panel. So by default, if you run dmenu, this height of the bar is fixed. You can't change it. Now that's pretty bad because if you're actually running it over a panel, which most of the time you probably will be, you can see having a different height for dmenu and a different height for a panel, you know, just looks bad. <laughs> so you want them to be the same height. So it's good to be able to change that. So I would definitely advise getting the latest dmenu line height diff here. And you see the latest one is 4.9 is the last one of the list. I would, in your browser, if you right click on it, it should allow you to download that file. So download that diff. Another patch I think would be interesting would be the center patch here. This allows you to launch dmenu in the center of the screen instead of, you know, at a bar at the top or the bottom of the screen. It allows you to give it 
like in a square in the center of the screen, much like Rofi. If you're familiar with the Rofi launcher, that's how it acts by default. Uh, so I, I may go ahead and add the center patch. So we'll go ahead and download that. And then I'm going to add the border patch because if you're going to put D menu in the center of the screen, you really want to wrap it with a border because if you don't have a border, if D menu is the same color as your windows that are in the background, it's going to be hard to tell where those windows start and where D menu starts. I see we have a patch here called highlight. Oh, I like that. You see how as you start typing the letters, the letters are highlighted in the selections that match. I'm definitely going to download that diff, so I'm going to grab the highlight diff. Oh, there's a patch called more color. It doesn't give me a picture, but it says it creates an additional color scheme for use with entries adjacent to the selection. So I think what this is going to do, even though it doesn't have a, uh, a screenshot here, is you see in D menu, you always have this selection. I think the selections to either side of the selection now will have the options of being customized with some color. And there's a patch here called numbers and it will show you the number of matched and total items in the top right corner of D menu. Now that's not that bling worthy, but it's probably just a really simple patch to, to do. If I actually looked at the diff, actually it looks more complicated than I thought actually. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and grab that diff. So I'm going to grab six of these patches. I'm going to grab border center, highlight, line height, more color, and numbers. Let me go ahead and close out the surf browser. I won't need it anymore. Let me clear the screen here. Now I put those diffs in this D menu folder. So I've still got the D menu source code, but now I have those six diffs. So I'm going to go ahead and start patching D menu one at a time. Now patching, especially when you do a lot of patches, I would bet money that not all of these patches are going to be able to just be automatically patched. Some of these I may have to manually patch, meaning I may, may have to actually open some of these files and edit the lines myself. Because usually when you do so many patches, mm, you know, you're going to have things just not work out for you. The first one or two definitely will work, but don't be surprised once we get to patch four, five, six, you know, we end up having to just open these the source code files in Vim and patching the lines ourselves. So I'm trying to figure out which one I want to start with. Let's start, I say we just go in order alphabetically. So to do a patch, any patch for these suckless programs, once you grab the patch, you know, the diff files, all you need to do is run this command. Patch, space, and then do dash P1. And then you want to do the less than sign, so the left pointing chevron, right? and then the name of the diff. So I'm going to do D menu and let's do the border diff first. Run that and it says patching file. Didn't throw up any errors so it should have worked just fine. If you run a sudo make install you should have a border around D menu. As a matter of fact I could go ahead and do that just to see if it worked. So do sudo make install if I can type correctly. And wow, the very first patch actually <laughs> did not complete. Well, let's see what it is complaining about. It's complaining about error border with undeclared. Yeah, so let me go ahead and pull up the surf browser again. Let me go into D menu, patches, border. And let's take a look at the diff. I'll just take a look at it right here in the browser. And let's see if we can figure out what the problem is. I imagine what we need to do is in the config.h we need to add this line right here, which basically assigns the width of the border to be five pixels wide. It, it probably didn't add that line by itself, so I, manually I need to go add that line. So let me move this. What I'm gonna do is in Vim, I'm going to Vim space and then config.h, and it tells you exactly the line to look for. So it's telling you, look for that line right there. You see there's not a plus or a minus in front of that line. So that line is right here. It's the last line of the config. And then it's telling us to add, you see it's got three plus symbols in front of those three lines. Add those three lines. So if I go in here and start a new line and I'm just going to paste that. Now we need to get rid of the pluses. So let me get rid of the plus symbols there. Let me write and quit here. And I'm going to clear the screen. 
And let's do a sudo make install now and see if we have fixed the patching. Yes, it built just fine. So if I ran D menu, so if I did D menu underscore run, you see at the top we have D menu now and you see we have that five pixel border that we just added. Of course, we could adjust that. We could change the border width and of course we could change the border color, but let's continue with our patching. So, so I'm gonna go back and let's just run the center patch and see if that runs. And that seemed to run just fine, but I mean the uh, border patch seemed to patch just fine automatically, but still when we tried to make it, it, it didn't make. So sudo make install. And once again, some problems again, it's going to be the config file. Let me go back into the surf browser here and let's go to the center patch and let's go to that diff and see what we need to add. Once again, in the config.h file, we probably need to add these three lines right there below static int top bar. So let me do nvim again, vim config.h. And you see we have static int top bar, and then below that line, we just needed to paste that right there. Of course, we don't need the plus symbols. So let me go ahead and just get rid of those real quick. And then let's write and quit. And let's do a sudo make install and it had no problem building that time so once again if we do d menu underscore run we have the border but we don't have it centered in the screen if you look at the documentation on that patch it did mention that it added a new flag to d menu the c flag so d menu underscore run space dash c runs d menu in the center of the screen how cool is that of course if you're going to do that you probably also want to do it in a horizontal list so you want to give it the L flag as well the which stands for lines specify the number of lines you want to show in the list let's show 20 and let's run yeah that is very Rofi like right there so if I searched for termite you know I could open up the termite terminal I'm already liking where we're going with this we've still got four more patches to go though and let's run the highlight diff so let me go through the shell history and this time I'm gonna patch the D menu dash highlight diff. That seemed to work just fine, but until we run sudo make install, who knows? Yeah, everything seemed to work actually on that. So if I did D menu run, yeah, everything seems to look okay. We don't have any highlighting. Maybe I have to search for something. Ah, I see. The problem is the highlighting is black background with a black foreground, so you can't really... We're going to have to change that, but I'm going to continue with the patching for now. Let me clear the screen, LS, and this time uh, we're going to run the line height patch. So let's run that patch. That seemed to work just fine. Let's run a sudo make install. We did get an error on that one. Let's see what we need to do for that. So I'm back in the surf browser. We find the line height diff. Let's take a look. In the config.h, we need to specify the line height. We need to add that line right there. Let me copy that and then get back into config.h here. The line we need to look for is static unsigned int lines equals zero. Right here, static unsigned int lines equals zero right below that. Let's go ahead and paste that. Let me get rid of the plus symbol in front of it and then write and quit and let's see if it makes just fine yeah no errors at all let's do d menu run and there we go um, and the line height is variable we can adjust it but so far the patching is going pretty good we did have to do a couple of manual patches but there's only two more patches to go here so let's go ahead and do the more color patch now that patch failed, so we're going to have to manually do this one. Let me find the more color diff. And luckily it's not very complicated. We need to add this line here to config.h. That should be easy enough. So let me vim config.h. This line right here, create some space. And right below it, I'm going to paste the new line, get rid of the plus symbol there. Now looking at the diff, we also need to edit the dmenu.c file. So let me get out of the config.h. 
Well, let me go ahead and open up the dmenu.c file and it looks like we are looking for this right here. So let me do a quick search here and then this is the line we need to replace and we you see it's got a minus symbol in front of it we need to re replace that line we need to delete that line and then the plus symbol is in front of this line we need to add that line but here's where the patching gets kind of complicated because we've patched several things this is not the first patch to edit this line <laughs> because this line that it says to delete only has four things in this array or this list here but I've got six things <laughs> right <laughs> And you see the line is telling me to add only has five things. So some of my patching has already edited this line. So I'm going to have to think about this. Looking at this, what we need to do is add scheme mid, that right there, to the list because that is missing. So I'm going to add it. I'm going to go ahead and add scheme mid. Also, we need to find somewhere around line 118, we need to find this here and add these two lines underneath it. So let me just look for a unique string of characters here in Vim. So I just do a search for something. All right, so I found the line here and we need to add these two lines up under it, but those lines are actually already present. So probably when I tried to do the automatic patching, it was able to find that and patch that. It just wasn't able to find the, the rest of the stuff. So I think we're good here. I think if I just write and quit, and then sudo make install. And let's do dmenu underscore run. Yes. <laughs> and I like that. I like how it highlights, of course, the selection that we're on, but it also has a different highlighting for the selections to, to the left and to the right of the actual selection. That is some nice bling. Now that, that's a serious rice. I think the guys on Unix porn are going to be impressed with that. I, I've got one more patch to run though, because we still have not added the numbers patch. So let me run that. Well, and the, the automatic patching seemed to work on that. Of course, until we run the sudo make install, who knows? Yeah, it, it ran just fine. So all of our patching is done. So Oh, you see the numbers out to the side, 5,064 or 5,064. But if we start typing, you see how it starts narrowing the list down. All right, so the first thing I need to do is when we run D menu, is I need to get the highlighting not to be a black background and a black foreground because that doesn't make any sense. So we need to get back into our config.h and actually play with these colors a little bit. I don't think we're through with the highlight patching because I don't see anywhere in the config file where I can set colors for highlighting. So I'm going to go into the diff and look at the source code manually. Yeah, it was supposed to add these two lines to the config.h, but it didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and add them myself. All right, now that I got those pasted, let me write and quit. And let's run dmenu one more time and see if we have... Well, we have highlighting still, but it's still just black. What am I missing here? I think part of the problem is I've patched a few different things. Some of these lines were from different patches and the color schemes are clashing. <laughs> so, okay, so I played with the color scheme a little bit here. So let me sudo make install here. You have to recompile every time you, you edit the config file, by the way. All these suckless utilities, you're constantly recompiling anytime you make any minor changes. But really, once you have it set up, you should hardly ever be playing around in that file. So now if I do dmenu underscore run, and now do I have proper highlighting? Yes, I like that. So now I have the highlighting where it highlights the letters I am typing. Then I have the highlighting where if I arrow over, you see... The selection is in a blue background, and the two selections out to the side have a red background. The term I'm searching for, the letters I'm searching for, are highlighted now in this yellow color. We have a five pixel border, a blue border, and if I wanted to, I could have put all of that in the center of the screen. So, so let's run that one more time, give it the C flag to run it in the center of the screen, and we'll make it 20 lines high. And that is our new blinged out <laughs> D-menu.
<laughs> I, I, I'm actually, this is not something I typically do. I was kind of doing this for fun, but you know what? I'm going to push this, this build of D menu to my GitLab for those of you that want this. Maybe you don't want to fool with the patching. You'll already have my customized uh, D menu build. You won't even have to worry about the patching and pseudo make install. You can just pull it down and you're good to go. Anyway, I know this is kind of a random video. I really just wanted to play with D-Menu a little bit today. And I was thinking, you know, I've hardly ever patched D-Menu. I, I haven't added much to it at all. Really, most of the suckless utilities I've played with, I don't patch them that much, mainly because it's a chore to patch them. Uh, sometimes you have to do the manual patches like I had to do for, for this. But, you know, it, it wasn't that bad. And I really kind of like the cool colors and the highlighting and everything that we're getting with D-Menu now that I've added a few of these cool patches. Now, before I go, this episode was produced by Michael, Chris, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George Haplow, Nate, Lambda, Mitchell, Omri, Rob, Sean, and Willie. These guys are the producers of the show. They're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This episode about patching our D menu and really ricing our desktop a little better. It wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by all these other names you're seeing on the screen right now. These ladies and gentlemen help support me over on Patreon. Without these guys, the channel wouldn't be possible. The show you just watched wouldn't have been possible. If you'd like to support the channel, look for DistroTube over on Patreon. He's over there. All right, guys. Peace.